Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a HTTP call to our backend server or an API by making use of Flutter Duo library. So basically, Flutter Duo library is a package through which we can make HTTP calls to our server like get, post, put, delete and other uh, HTTP calls. So in this tutorial, we are going to fetch the data from our backend server. So let's get started. So I'm going to make use of my existing Flutter project that is URL sorting application that I have made a playlist on my YouTube channel. So if you want to uh, learn how to create a URL sorting application in Flutter with Node.js at the backend with MongoDB database, you can just visit my uh, channel that is protocoldespoint.com and you will get this playlist. I can, I can just add this uh, playlist in the description of this video tutorial. So here I have uh, explained each and everything like uh, how to create a Node.js project, how to connect to a MongoDB database, how to create APIs. So everything is being covered to create a URL sorting application over here. So you can just watch this tutorial if you want to learn more about Flutter with Node.js at the backend. Uh, so let's get started with the coding thing. So here, uh, this project, I want to show all the list of URLs that has been submitted by this particular user. So this particular user can submit a long URL and he will get a short URL in return. So his uh, URL, my, I want to show it in a list format over here. So let me show you my MongoDB database in which format I'm going to store my data. So you can see this is my database and this is my collection. Here I'm going to store each and every user's data in this format. So I want to just fetch all these data and show it in our uh, Flutter application in a list format by making use of Flutter Duo library. So for this, first of all, we need to install Duo library in pub specification.yaml file under dependency section over here. So I have just added that. So you can just ignore this thing. If you want to just implement Duo library, you can just uh, watch this part. So just add this library and hit this pub get button. So now let's come to uh, welcome page. So here we need to import the Duo package. So just import it. And now to make use of Duo class, we must uh, uh, use it or create an instance of that. So I will just create an instance by making use of some parameter. I can just name it as Duo and just import Duo. Yeah, and that's it. So this will just create an instance of this class. And by making use of this Duo, we can make internet calls. So now here, uh, whenever my application starts, that is the home page starts, I want to make a call to my backend API. So now let me show you my backend code. Okay, so this is my Node.js backend code for URL sorting application. So here I have a route by name get user URL. So what this function uh, API will do is it will just fetch all the data of the particular user. So you can see it is accepting one parameter that is user ID through which it is just finding all the data of that particular user. So this query will find us the data. So I just need to call this fun, uh, API. So for this, what I can do, I can just create a function over here. I will just keep it as future function void and I will just name it as fetch URL and view. Something like this I can just give and let me make this function as async and this function will accept one parameter that is user ID. As we are going to fetch the data from our backend API by making use of user ID I need to pass this user ID to this uh, API so now here uh, I can just make use of final response is equal to await okay so now I want to make use of this do instance to make HTTP call do dot post method I'm going to make use of so here will be the URL from which I want to fetch the data and then comes the data that we are going to pass to our backend so we are going to pass user ID so we need to give a user ID over here user ID and pass a user ID to this so what I will do I will just take the user ID from my database itself so I can just take this user ID and paste it over here so now uh, whenever we make the HTTP call to our backend, we will get uh, the data from the server. So I need to pass a URL over here. So I have that URL. So it might be somewhere over. Okay. Okay. So I can just take this. So this is my URL and this is my API name. Okay. So I'm just copying it, pasting over here. So I will just get all the data of a particular, this particular user in this response. So now I want to convert it into a list format. So you can see, uh, so let me show you. So here uh, I get all the user's data in this success key in the JSON format. So I need to just get this data from the success parameter. So for this final list type dynamic and let me name it as data is equal to response dot 
data so we are going to get the data from success so so before this let me show you by printing this print response okay so let me restart my app so i've got restarted so i need to call this function over here so i need to pass a user id okay. so what i can do i can just pass a user id over here okay so instead of manually typing it i can just pass a user id and then i can just use this so refresh or refresh okay so i'm just printing it so i did not get got any response so let me check my ip address of my laptop so the ip address is correct so i'm just hitting it yeah 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 i just forgot to start my backend yeah so no index so backend got started so now let's check if i get the response so you can see it got connection uh, issue error connection timeout because my backend was not running so i have just restarted my application and this is the print statement so you can see i am getting this data from my backend database so out of this i only need this data to be shown in a list view over here so i'm going to just do this so success so inside this i have an array of uh, json data so i'm just going to get this data and store it in this data format so now finally i need to store uh, this data to a external variable so i just need to create external variable over here so i can just create a list of map ring and dynamic ring comma dynamic and data list so initially i will just keep this data as empty so inside this data i want to store this data okay so let's do that now so here set state data list is equal to list of map okay so list of map dynamic dot from from i want to just get this data from this and store it in this list data list so now i can just make use of this data to show a list of a list of items over here so let's do it down of this so here somewhere over here yeah correct okay so here if data list dot is empty so initially it will be empty because it is just fetching the data from the server if it is empty then i want to show a circular progress indicator and if it is not empty then i want to show a list of items so what i can do i can just make use of expandable widget container widget like this so here child widget list view builder list view dot builder build item so here i want to build number of data that is been fetched from that server so here item count is data list dot length okay. and here let the call back that is const and index return so i want to return a card elevation as two and then child i can just give a list tell so inside this list tell i can just show my data so here let me refresh so here i'm getting errors so i'll just okay so refresh so let the data get fetched from the server so you can see this is one data so here i have long url as well as short url so i can just show a subtitle and title in this list tell so uh, title i can show a, a, lo a short url so text will be dollar data list index data list of index sort url dot url okay so let me refresh and check okay so you can see i am getting this three sort urls so similar to that i can just show a subtitle so subtitle will be a long url so i can just get this printed over here like this and instead of this i want to show this long url over here so hot refresh so you can see i can just see a long url over here so here i can just show uh, this long url I, or i or else i can just show a domain name that is http with some domain name and then this sort url so let me show you how okay so i can just show something like uh yeah so http so this is a domain name of any website or wherever you are hosting this application this is the domain name of that and then the sort url so it will just look good okay so let's wait now okay so you can see so this is how you can make use of flutter duo library to fetch data from any any apis or any server and show it in your flutter application okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol at this point thank you